your number one hit it sounded like the soundtrack to a michael bay movie <laughs> <laughs> especially the end hey guys and welcome to the tomb youtube channel my name is emmanuel and i'm lee and this is the re red witch binary star and it's bloody epic <laughs> yeah certainly yeah that is the perfect word to describe the pedal epic yeah um, it's made by our friend Ben uh, down in New Zealand. Uh, you probably know Red Witch, they've been around for a long time and have been making amazing pedals uh, all that time. And this is very, very, very different. When I first heard this, I described it as a new effect. Mm. And I know what you mean by that. Yeah. Even though I can't really describe what is new about it, there is certainly something that I've not quite hurt before. Okay, so you know when you get a analog delay yes, and you turn the repeats all the way up but you turn the speed down and it starts oscillating, mm -hmm. you know you can like dial that back so it starts oscillating but without going into like self oscillation in the terms of like taking over and just going mental and blowing your amp up, you can get it sitting there. Yes. And then you can play over that and it sounds really nice. Well, you, you, you do that a bit like a pad that you can get on a synth for something mm -hmm. along those lines. This is kind of like taking that to the next, I don't know, dimension, if you like. So on paper, all this is, is a delay where you can adapt the, we can change the repeats. So mm -hmm. you can add modulation to the repeats, but you can do that on a lot better. You can do it on a bloody carbon copy. Yes. Right? It, it, and no just to a carbon copy. Carbon copies are great. Considering that, that ambience and atmosphere, it's not, uh, it's, a, it's like a very different thing, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, well, check out the delay on its own. Look, if I turn these down and I put the mix about here, uh, you've got basically a, a, de a delay. It's crazy that's what I'm talking about. So that, that kind of rims up the repeat, so and you can get some rhythmic bits and pieces going on. Uh, the mix is great because you can go full uh, full wet. Full dry, which is the same as clean tone. But the modulation is where it starts getting really trippy because the depth, um, it's not subtle. And that is the uh, that is the beauty of it. So if we just if we try to be a little bit delicate with it, if you just I'll turn the velocity up. So the velocity is the speed of the modulation, and I'm just going to very gently turn this up if it, as you play an A chord or something like that. When 
I tried it out the first time, I got this kind of tone out of it, um, more or less. And I thought it would be like, something like a, like a joke machine, if that makes sense. You know, there are some pedals like the Miku from Korg, which I'm sure some people are able to uh, make great music with it, but I think most just go plug it in and have a good time, you know? Yeah, I did give you a bit of background on that. But I set it up a bit crazy and then said, you have a play of it, I'm going to the toilet. Yeah. So I did that on purpose. <laughs> and then I, I came back and I was like, yeah, like, nice, but it's like not more than a toy. But then when I did these like um, um, non-diatonic chord progressions, uh, it started to like, become a very nice tool to, to just add that certain flavor to it that it needed yeah. um so uh i was like i'm wondering if we can also make a chord progression which is not any spacey sounding like if we can if it somehow can add a value to that so i had this this thing before which like the um again like alex lifeson type of open chords and an f f sharp, a sharp major like a chord progression which is like Sir, do your magic. Okay. I wish Ben had put that on a foot switch. <laughs> Momentary yeah. switch. Like brilliant. MIDI and then, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, like, you get what I, what I mean, right? It, it can do this crazy stuff, but also on, on a like um, chord progression that you would expect in a more or less like uh, popular music kind of song, you can also use that. Like it's not, not just, just to make crazy sounds, but also to make music. Very, very cool. Well done, Ben. Uh, I knew this was good going to be good and I've been waiting for a long time to actually get my hands on it. I sent him a message, a little pitch saying, look what I'm finally playing with. <laughs> <laughs> this pedal is certainly fun if you touch it, if you turn the knobs. And that's an experience which we are proud to announce that we can offer to you from anywhere in the world, can't we? Uh, yes, as long <laughs> as you have an internet connection. Which you do because you're watching this video online. If you now use your internet connection to click on the link that you see above Lee's head right now, then uh, you're gonna have the pleasure to play with the knobs of this pedal online without moving anywhere. And the switches and everything. Different playing styles, different amps, different <laughs> settings. Whoa, full experience. And you can even send it into the full oscillation and everything like you uh, saw here. So. Full real recordings, just like uh, you've heard here. Go and try it. Bye bye. <laughs> Ladies.